Who had the best roast set on the Howard Stern show? Shuli, Bob Levy, Mike Morse, or Stuttering John? Let's find out. Let's have a hand for Shuli. 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 Hey now, Shuli. Morning, everybody. How we doing? All right. Well, let's look around the panel. We see Yucko's here. I'm happy to see Yucko. He's the only guy I know that puts on clown makeup and a costume and looks less creepy. <laughs> <laughs> if I had his jokes, I'd wear a disguise, too. i got to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm surprised to see him here this morning because he had a gig in Florida this afternoon. But like most things with Yucko, it got canceled. <laughs> Surely coming along. Yeah. Hey, 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 I'm just kidding, Yucko. I never actually got to see your show. I, I went to bed early that night. <laughs> Jim Florentine's here. Uh, I'm supposed to roast Jim Florentine, but I don't know how you embarrass a guy who takes a shit in the top of a toilet tank on camera. <laughs> Jim had major success with Crank Yankers. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect talking puppets to last, did you? <laughs> Jim, Jim has a new DVD called Meet the Creeps 2, which has gone straight to Comedy Central. <laughs> dot com. Oh. Who landed that sweet deal for you? You can get Meet the Creeps 3 from a Nigerian's blanket on Canal Street. <laughs> we all know Bob's a great comic. Uh, if you haven't seen Bob, you can catch him next week. He'll be at a firehouse in Hoboken. <laughs> you think that's sad, Florentine's hosting it. Oh. <laughs> Bob is the first to tell you that he's a national headliner. He'll be the last to be able to spell that shit, though. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you, Bob. See you at the firehouse. <laughs> where I'll be featuring. Uh, let's get to Ralph. What can I say about Ralph that hasn't already been said? How about you're all man and everybody here loves and respects you? <laughs> Here again. <laughs> Ralph wasn't always this attractive, you know. It took some time for him to realize that if he looked as much like Howard as possible, he might get some confused mercy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph bangs a lot of strippers, though, I'll be honest with you. So much he's been banned from Chippendales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I'm just kidding. He bang I'm just... Yeah. You know, let's be serious here. Uh, Ralph is Howard's stylist, and that goes without saying, because when you hear the name Howard Stern, you instantly think style. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's funny. Thank you. Uh, but I kid, Ralph. Uh, to tell the truth, I love what you do. I have no fucking clue what it is, but I love what you do. And every time Ralph shows up here at Sirius, the offices are a buzz. All the executives are talking. Who's this douchebag in my office? How do I get him out, and how do I change my locks? That's true. <laughs> and finally, so many fans say Ralph is shallow, and my question is, how can thousands of fans be right on the fucking money with that? <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. We Thank love you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Shirley, from the Howard 100 News team. We're going to start off with Ronnie right away. Like, I love you, Ronnie, but you are a creepy little fuck, okay? <laughs> Ronnie, you're the only guy in this room I can stand next to and feel young again. <laughs> Look at your face. you got more crow's feet than witch's brew. Look at you. <laughs> your business card says scores man on it. What, angry little useless piece of shit has too many letters? <laughs> Whoa. You want to security what Artie is to a high jump. <laughs> I don't know what would make Howard feel more safe, having you as a security or getting fucked in the ass by Magic Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Look how tight that shirt is. It's not a fucking shirt, it's a tattoo. <laughs> I love when Ronnie wears a turtleneck. He looks like an uncircumcised cock. <laughs> <laughs> you may not know this, but Ronnie's one of the fastest people I've ever seen. If you don't believe me, check out him running away from Gary Busey. <laughs> He yeah. almost ran back into the 1980s. <laughs> yeah, what happened on that, Ronnie? Exactly. I didn't run from him. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Ronnie disappeared I faster just... than a calzone in Artie's refrigerator. <laughs> the closest yeah, Ronnie ever got to from... Gary Busey was when he watched the Buddy Holly story. <laughs> 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 if you were any fucking smaller, you'd be doing security for Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> what do you do here all day besides avoid mousetraps anyway, you little fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> He's so short, he has to go on a ladder just to suck Lonnie's cock. <laughs> And listen to me, you couldn't bang a scores girl even if you wrapped your dick in funny money and had fucking uh, green card taped to your balls, all right? Get it straight, you fucking loser. <laughs> when he goes on a plane trip, he is carry-on luggage. Oh. Oh. Is this hard for you, Ronnie? <laughs> What, is he, what are you kidding me? What are you, what are you kidding? What I can you, handle this. This, is, this guy is bullcrap. Uh, yeah, I guess it's bullcrap, you little cocksucker. I'm not done with you. Yeah. They say the longer you smoke, the more it stunts your growth. Your mother's pussy must have cigarette burns on it. <laughs> uh, <ooh. laughs> I heard the first time Ronnie walked in the scores, he had a cigar hanging out of his mouth, and the bounty, bounty said, you ain't bringing that filthy, smelly little shit in there. And Ronnie said, what the fuck's your problem? And the bounty said, I was talking to the cigar loser. <laughs> I hate you, Ronnie. Sorry. First you were Howard's driver, then you became a security. Another year, you're going to be in charge of shaving his belly, you fucking loser. Oh. <laughs> Ronnie, I'm sorry your dog died. I, I'm sorry about that. I heard when he got to heaven, he asked for a new name, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready for more? Come on, yeah. let's fucking make some noise. Yeah. That's great. Yay. Now we're going we're to bring up the next guy is uh, Mike Moss. You may not know who Mike Moss is, but don't feel bad because nobody in this business knows who the fuck Mike Moss is. How about half my friend Mike Moss? Where'd you find Mike Moss? Mike's a good friend of mine. He's helping me write my sitcom, which is going to go nowhere. Can't but, wait for that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Another loser. Mike, uh, good career move. Uh, mm -hmm. Linking up with Reverend Bob Levy for that sitcom. I got to hand it to you. Yeah. And uh, welcome to the Ralph Roast. And uh, of course, we let you yeah, go. Yeah, he's helping with the sitcom, then yeah. he does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, once again, for, uh, for, for Bob, Reverend Bob, Reverend yeah, Bob, yeah, putting this all together. It must be early. He's still sober. Uh, anybody who knows Bob knows he loves to drink. Uh, his liver has more scars on it than Pam Anderson's tits. Right? Yeah. That's you. Pam Anderson. I said Pam. Yeah, Close you make enough. fun of my fucking speech. Uh, <laughs> how do you know Bob has a drinking problem? Artie Lang is his designated driver. <laughs> True. Yeah. One time, Bob blew into a breathalyzer. The breathalyzer had to spend the fucking night in jail. Right? <laughs> his liver's fucked up from drinking, but at least he smokes, so his lungs aren't jealous. <laughs> and we had uh, we had Jim here. Jim, another hand for Jim. Come on, he did a great job. Jim Florence. Yes. Yeah. Anyone who knows Jim knows his favorite word is beautiful. Beautiful, which is ironic because I've seen some of the ugly pigs you fucked. <laughs> I swear to God, uh, Jim will fuck anything. He'd stick his dick in a meat grinder if you put a wig on it and smeared it with tuna fish, right? <laughs> he has, hey, maybe that sitcom's going to be good. <laughs> he's got no standards. Jim is like a hot fudge sundae because by the end of the night, he always ends up in a fat chick. Oh. <laughs> That's true. He has fucked some ugly girls, my friend. These women, these women went way past coyote ugly. Coyotes wouldn't lick these chicks if you tied raw pork chops to their pussies. <laughs> to their pussies. But now Jim is dating... <laughs> I thought that was going to be a nine. But now Jim is dating a stripper, which must be tough trying to figure out how much to tip her after a blowjob. <laughs> Bob, how much do you tip her? <laughs> 20, me too. Uh, people wonder where Jim gets the deep voice from. He's got enormous testicles, right, Ralph? Uh, oh. No, Jim's balls are so big when he jerks off, it looks like Rocky training on the speed bag. <laughs> big. All right, but let's get to our... Uh, let's our, get to Ralph. There we go. Yeah. Now, this the is the man of the hour. Yeah. And I, that's right. And we call him that because that's how much he fucking works every week. <laughs> True. Ralph has made a living out of hanging out with famous people. He's a dingleberry on the asshole of success. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen anybody more hated than Ralph? Most guys would have to rape a retard to get hated that much. <laughs> <laughs> Listeners look forward to Ralph's radio appearances with the same enthusiasm they have when they see pus dripping out of their dicks. <laughs> <laughs> But every day, Ralph gets on his knees to give thanks for being a part of this show. Shut the fuck up. I'm not done. I'm not done, Barry Boy. At least wait till the fucking joke is over. Wait, I want to hear that joke. Every day, Ralph gets on his knees to give thanks for being part of this show. Actually, he's already on his knees from blowing the Chinese food delivery guy. Here's a joke over there for you, Ralph. What's the difference between Ralph and a tick? One is a repulsive parasite, and the other's a tick. Okay, that one was funny. <laughs> sure, we know Ralph is as useless as a cock in Rosie O'Donnell's mouth, but <laughs> but there's one thing he's good at, leeching off of celebrities. One day he's licking Sam Simon's ass in the West Coast, next day he's licking Howard's ass on the East Coast. Ralph is the only person I know whose tongue has jet lag. <laughs> 
Sorry, I should go easy on you, Ralph. Uh, being on the show, he's taking his lumps, and they've all ended up on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those warts? It looks like he got face fucked by Kermit the Frog. <laughs> If that one on his left cheek pops out another quarter inch, it means the turkey's done. <laughs> right, 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 right cheek. Yeah, right okay, cheek. Sorry. Side, fuck, eh? Well, that's how much I know you. Nice hair, yeah. nice, nice hair douchebag. Yeah. Nice fake hair you got. Well, take hey. off your fucking cap there, unifaggot. What, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, let the guy finish his roast of you. <laughs> look, look what I see you've done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I take shit from this idiot. I don't even know. Him. Hey, so quiet. You, you should be roasted. lucky. I know your name. You know, you know, you know. Get roasted. Douchebag. That you don't the yell. Fuck is this is it just some fucking idiot? Like if you, the Bob just pulled him off the street. Oh, oh, come right. on, he's killing. No, I actually, I actually work on. for a living. Yeah, he's really. No, you don't. What do you do for a living? Obviously, Kill his microphone. Yeah. Kill his microphone. Kill him. I'm sorry. He's a little... Ra no, Ralph's a little... I, I understand he's got some anger. Ralph was molested by a priest when he was young, and the relationship lasted three years until the priest got a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> he was cute. Yeah. You know, some people are going to come up here and say Ralph is so gay he should have starred in Brokeback Mountain, which is bullshit. The actors in that movie were only pretending to be faggots. Oh. <laughs> Ralph's asshole has been entered by more people than the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. <laughs> His tongue has touched more balls than Hank Aaron's bat. His chin has looked like Lana. Oh, fuck that one. <laughs> Yeah. The only time Ralph's fingers would ever smell like fish is if he stuck his hand up Aquaman's ass. <laughs> two more and we're done. Two more, we're, two, two, two more and we're done. You can get, take it, Ralph. You can take it. Ralph gets fucked in the ass so often his shit has to make an appointment to come out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, what... If, Finally, what do Ralph, Artie Lang's exercise equipment, and Benji's clean shirts have in common? They've never come out of the closet. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. That was good, man. Could we say his name again? Mike, Mike Morse. Morse. Great Mike job, Mike. Morse. All right. Mike Morse. Great. Mike Morse. Morse? Morse. Morse. M-O-R-S-E. Oh, oh, I spelled Morse. that right. Hey, Mike, that sitcom's going to be great if you could drop Levy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All serious. <laughs> There are many reasons why Alvison left this chew bag. What? What? <laughs> oh, gee. Who is he? What you? Shoot him now. <laughs> the main reason Allison left him is because she couldn't stomach that surfboard. He, he calls a nose. <laughs> ah, you are so bad. <laughs> when he came out of his mother, <laughs> a, a private was shaped like a keyhole. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> his, initials, his initials, Howard Allen Stern, H A S, stands for has, as in has a big schnozzola. <laughs> which is another word for nose. Why are you talking so far? Why are you talking so strange? I think this is a delivery oh. thing he worked with. Yes. Come on, don't don't cut me off here. <laughs> when you look at that nose, <laughs> And you say God bless you even before he sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> kids, when it rains, kids would take shelter under that nose. <laughs> <laughs> the only person I know who uses a necklace for a nose ring. <laughs> I like this delivery. <laughs> for Halloween, kids used to paint the face on that nose <laughs> and call it his Siamese twin. When, when Howard got a nose job, <laughs> they, built a, they built another person with the remains of that nose. Oh. Anyway, just remember, Howard, you'll always be stuck with that humongous, snot-filled, disgusting nose. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you. Wow. Oh, that wasn't a bad job. That Come on. Give him some credit. Yeah, but you know what? I just—I have to say what it was very funny, but he, it had nothing to do with the separation. That was well, he worked at the nose, nose, no, nose, nose, nose. He was attacking her. I, no, I, I said that wife. was good. I didn't attack your wife. No, no yeah. I'm going to tell you something about yourself. Mm -hmm. You are the least funny person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. You are not funny. Okay. You're obnoxious. Okay. You're not funny. You would never be a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. You're not funny. And when you try to be funny, you come off obnoxious. Okay. Like, You're not funny. Like I tell jokes, it's not good. Right. Okay. Right. 